Welcome to Duke's RV. Hey, that's right, it's me, Duke, your video host. And today we're taking a look at the Keystone Montana 3791RD. We're going to go ahead and go inside and take a look at the floor plan. Then we're going to come back outside and look at some of the features out on the outside. This is a number one selling luxury brand for 22 years straight. Let's go up these solid steps, grab this grab hand. All right, welcome inside. So you see it's got a spot right there for your juicer, your blender, your coffee pot, your air fryer, whatever you got. Have a good time cooking some food wherever you are. Got some pantry space up there. It's pretty exciting, right? That's what we do here on Duke's RV. We bring the excitement. Here is an exciting pantry. You can load up all your uh, fixings in there, your fixings for your vittles. But it is deep. If you got some, uh, go to Costco, load up, get big jars of pickles, you'll be all set. All right, the refrigerator's just like at home, residential fridge. Hey, if you're going to be full-time and that's what you need, you need a lot of counter space. So when you're cooking, you got a place to put your food, put your spices, and you can uh, create a culinary masterpiece. you got a place to store all your favorite sk skillets, pots, pans, all that stuff. And this one has a dedicated drawer here for the trash can. That's nice. You always want to know where to put the trash can. And then in an RV, you need two basins. And this is perfect. It's got a big basin and a small basin. You can see they're stainless steel. But usually you're not going to have a dishwasher in an RV. It's not practical for several reasons. They don't work that great. Uh, but this is a way you can wash dishes. It is very practical. And it's going to work for you if you're full-time. And in this rig that is rated for full-time use, check it out. There's a third AC unit here. So you're not going to be suffering in the heat, dealing with grouchy people in your family because it's not cool. Check out those beautiful lighting fixtures. Thomas Edison would have been very happy to see that. I, hope, I guess he would be, who knows? It's hard to predict some of these great minds. It's hard to predict how they would react, but I can tell you one thing, I'm reacting to this uh, hominess in the beautiful interior here on this Keystone, Montana. Let's check out the rear den. It, this is the RD, the rear den, and it's got a bigger den. It's got triple wide sofas. These are not double wide sofas. So you got the theater seats. They're very comfortable. So you'll be sitting here in these plush theater seats in the captain's chairs in the command position. And if you have all the blinds down, you can have a panoramic view you can deploy the TV just like on Star Trek, John Luke Picard, you can raise it up just like in his ready room. If you want to pump up the bass, you've got your JBL sound system right here, and it's got a subwoofer. So that is going to be cool. you got the fireplace for some ambiance if you want to create the mood. So you'll feel very comfortable in here hanging out with your friends, your family, just having a good time. A little, you're still kind of open concept but you got a separate room here, and then these sofas make into beds if you've got some occasional guests. You, know, you don't want to stay too long. Check out that accent lighting up there. That air conditioner's got a resi residential filter on it, and it's a very quiet system. So what that does for you when you're watching TV, if you're watching a golf game and you're talking low, you don't have to put on the closed captions. It's not that typical traditional RV experience where you got a loud air conditioner blaring all the time. If you're full-timing, you want a full-time rig that is built right. Now, if you want to, if you don't want the number one selling, don't want the very best, check out number two, three, and four. This is the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for 22 years straight. There's a curtain right there. You can close that curtain. This would be a comfortable bedroom right here for your guests. There's no light coming in. They don't have to wake up at the crack of dawn. This blacks it out. And plus, you have privacy at the campground. Nobody can see through the edges of those balances. All right, we're going to keep moving. So this uh, material down here that they're using on the slide out, that's a synthetic material. It's very durable. It's not carpet. It is not, it's waterproof. It does not absorb anything. So your puppies are not going to do any damage. They won't be attracted to it. All right. Hey, thanks for tagging along. There's your electric dustpan right there and a place to plug in the vacuum cleaner hose. 
when you first walk in the door you can hang your jacket here hang your keys here put your nine millimeter up there your glock wherever you want you may have it in a holster you might like to keep it in a holster you got a porcelain basin so this comes up so when you're washing your face it's more ergonomic and you're not going to be splashing water everywhere getting in trouble with your uh, other family members you don't like water splashed all over the place in the bathroom you got four drawers here plenty of room for all your bathroom items see that pex plumbing in there's good down to negative 10 degrees that's a porcelain toilet whoa check this out this is a handheld bidet okay i didn't know about that that's a big development here in the montana accessories somebody has accessorized this one from the factory i believe you can okay you know how a bidet works I, I, so that's winterizing fluid that's why it's pink but you could spray off whatever you need to spray off all right man that's pretty exciting stuff this is what you get here on duke's rv happy to bring you this presentation got a place to sit down and shave your legs comfortably in the shower all right so you got a king size bed very comfortable you've got the trays for the CPAP machines there's USB and 110 on each side and there is an inverter a solar panel this this rig is not plugged in it's we got power you've got an inverter if you have as a matter of fact with the propane the solar a lithium battery the solar charge controller the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter all that technical stuff you can run everything in here except pretty much the AC you, you've got the uh, stove the water heater the lights you plug in a coffee pot a CPAP machine you're gonna be all set if it's in cooler weather you don't even need to be plugged in all right so I got sidetracked I got a little bit excited there because it's such a uh, excellent job that the Keystone Corporation is doing on these uh, all right check it out I was gonna turn on the light but they beat me to it all right and look at this a laundry hamper you could put your unmentionables in there your laundry whatever you got a place for your hat box your shoes your boots Maybe you'll put your boots right there. Your beautiful costumes and wardrobe can go in there and they'll be illuminated by this light. So if you have sequins, they're gonna be uh, magnificent to look. You can admire your clothes, your sneakers, your Jordans. All right, so this is a spot here where you can put a washer and dryer. You can put a stackable, a combo. Those are the extra chairs for the dinette. I'm gonna have to maybe cut down on drinking so much coffee in the morning. I like coffee. There's a chest of drawers, framed in TV. That's what you find in high-end RVs. And this is a luxury RV. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outside. I'm Duke, your video host. I appreciate you tagging along. All right, we're outside. We're gonna take a look at the storage and see if I can open this up in two hands. Oh, check it out. This is huge in here. You can get to it from all these doors. There's a big door in the back. Oh, we gotta go look at this. We gotta look at it from back here. This is pretty exciting stuff. Thanks for uh, joining me on this uh, RV Wonderment experience here. Coming at you from Katy, Texas. X737 on the freeway. Conveniently located right in the heart of American stock. Speaking of convenience, look at this tray. That'll hold 800 pounds of whatever you've got. You don't have to hurt your back trying to reach back in there. Then you've got these compartments over on the side. You see that vapor barrier, double welded aluminum, high-end construction. There's even a heater duct back here. So this is, uh, this could be perfect if you're making a transition from a home and you're hard to get rid of all your some of those items you don't want to part with. All right, so this does have a tire pressure monitoring system. What that's going to do for you, you got to realize most blowouts happen when you start losing pressure in the tire. When you get a blowout on an RV, RVers know damages your rig. It's a hassle, it's expensive, it's, it's just not fun. So this will give you notification that you are losing pressure. You can address it. You can jack this one up using, the, you don't even have to get a jack. This has a uh, hydraulic leveling, hydraulic, jacks that will come down you can raise it up and uh, change a tire right there on the road it's got this uh, suspension that's gonna uh, it's got six inches of play there's all kinds of technical things but it reduces wear and tear on your rig is the bottom line 
All right, so we're gonna check out this uh, storage compartment right here in case we need more. Check it out. This is the smaller opening. This is huge. You see that vacuum cleaner right up there. It's your 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, 30 amp MPPT solar charge controller. That's why all the lights are working. That's why you can plug in your uh, water pick, your uh, coffee pot, your CPAP machines. There's your convenience center conveniently located. You got a hot and cold shower. If you want to take a shower outside, you better check the regulations of uh, what kind of place you're staying at. They may want you to uh, use a shower tent or something like that. I don't know where you're staying, but here is the controls for the electronic leveling. And check this out. You can raise and lower the rig with the clear view of the kingpin. That's very convenient when you're hooking up to your truck and you got this road armor kingpin right here with this big chunk of rubber that's called a grommet. It reduces wear and tear on your rig and the truck, the effects of chucking. You've got this hitch vision, pitch vision so you can see your hitch as you're backing up. It's actually patented by the Keystone Corporation. So don't be trying to steal these ideas. You got all the normal stuff you'd find on a luxury RV, the frameless windows, big awning, stereo speakers, you know about that. Solid steps, these are solid. If you're going up and down these things all day, every day. They're wider, it's a little bigger right there. You got a grab handle. You don't want to take a tumble. That'll ruin your week, it might ruin your month. Sometimes you get hurt and it's hard to heal. It takes months going to rehab. I mean, those people in rehab are nice, but you don't want to deal with that. Hey, thank you for tagging along. It is a beautiful day here at Duke's RV here on planet Earth. Look at the sky, it's just beautiful. You know, I used to, same thing you did, wondering, how can it keep on going forever? What's on the other side after it stops? I don't know. If you have the answer for that one, please put it in the comments below. You get all the way to the end, when it does stop, if it stops, what's on the other side? But if it keeps on going forever, how can it keep on going forever? I never figured that one out, but if you could put that in the comments, I would sincerely appreciate it. I've been looking for the answer to that question for a number of years, for a long time now.